Hi there. This lecture is to talk about the different kinds of herding sticks that are available out there and how you can uh, use them when working your dog and what kind of advantages some of them have and what kind of disadvantages are tempest and guppies. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go through you know what some of my favorite things are to do with them, when to use them in training, and of course when not to use them in training or trialing. Um, so let, let's start with the basic one, right? This is a basic shepherd's crook. Uh, it's made out of plastic, so when you hit the ground, um, it doesn't break on you, which is a good thing if you have a very expensive trialing crook that you like to use when trialing, you pay a lot of money for. Um, definitely be very careful when you're using it, because if you hit the ground with it, it'll break. Um, it'll be an expensive uh, thing to have to go through. The shepherd's crook's nice. It kind of keeps your hand busy when you're trialing. Um, a lot of people, when they trial, use their hands and their arms for signaling their dog. Hanging on to something like this when you're trialing your dog is a good thing. It kind of keeps your hands occupied and, and uh, less distraction for your dog. For training, this is also nice. You can put a little bit of pressure on your dog. Um, it, it's not a lot of length to it, so it only works with the young dogs if you're in close proximity of the, of the dog. Um, the, the, the main reason why we use a, a working stick or um, any, any of these devices here is to put pressure on the dog. Um, the reason we put pressure on the dog is we want the dog to, to move away from the pressure. Uh, we use it early on because the dog doesn't understand yet what the pressure is coming from the sheep, so we kind of help the dog out by pushing it one way, pushing it the other way, until the dog gets a little bit more savvy about what pressure is like coming from the sheep or from the livestock that you're working. So until that happens, it's your job to put pressure on the dog to teach the dog to go one way or to go the other way. Um, the crook is really an extension, the stick is really an extension of your arms. Okay. So as you put pressure on the dog and the dog goes away from the pressure um, towards the balance point typically, um, the dog feels the pressure that you put on the dog. And the stick is just another way to put pressure on the dog, it's just an extension of your arms, an extension of your body. See, it makes me bigger, uh, puts more pressure on the dog, and actually the, the different sticks have different kinds of pressure that you put on the dog, you know, depending on what you need. Um, those are what a stick should be used for. What a stick shouldn't be used for is um, a weapon on the dogs, right? You, you don't want to throw this at your dog, right? That just means you've lost your temper and that's probably a good time to, to quit uh, working your dog for, for that moment, right? It's never good to work your dog while you're, you're angry at the dog. The um, other negative way that people use the sticks a lot is a pointing device. Right? Dogs don't get it when you tell a dog go there or go there when they're working in livestock that that's not that's not going to help them out and this stick is also not a pointing device right the idea behind the stick is to go away from the pressure not to point at something and expect the dog to go to wherever you're pointing at so don't use this stick as a pointing device to say go there or go there you put pressure on the dog to push him away away <laughs> like that so they feel. Um, to move away from it. The, the biggest issue with the stick is that people use it as a command on the dog um, beyond just putting pressure on the dog. What, what I see people doing is they hit the ground at the dog in order to get the dog to lay down. Okay? Down, 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 and really what you're doing that way is you're giving a dog a double command. You're telling your dog to move away from the pressure, which is why you have the stick, but at the same time, when you're telling your dog to lay down by hitting the stick at them, you're telling the dog to lay down. So the dog is going to get confused, doesn't really know what's going on there. So you shouldn't use your crick, your crook, as a, as a down command. Okay, that's, that's inappropriate. So let's talk about a different kind of crook. Very similar to the shepherd's crook is a herding stick, right, which are typically, you know, four foot, you know, maybe four and a half foot long, fiberglass like this, nice handle on it. Again, it's nice and light, it's nice and easy to use, to put pressure on the dog. Um, it's, yeah, it's a handy thing to have, you know, they stand up for the weather a little bit, but they're rather short, and this means, you know, there's not a lot of pressure you can put on a dog, but these are handy to trial with and handy to have around. So, an offshoot of the, the fiberglass herding stick is this 
device right here. I don't know what it's called. Typically the little rattlers uh, balls in here that make a noise when you shake it. And as you can tell, it's, it's got a paddle on one end. Um, and this puts a lot of pressure on the dog. This is large. If you put this out on the dog, they're, they're definitely gonna feel the pressure from this, right? And you have to be careful with this because the more pressure you put on the dog, the more the dog is going to lean on that pressure and uh, not react to it the right way. So it's very important when you use a stick, especially one with a big thing on there like this, that too much pressure is not a good thing so um, keep the pressure on the dog when needed and take away the pressure when it's not needed right the dog doesn't always want to be relying on the pressure that you that you apply to it um, another stick like a device this one has a flag on the end yeah um, it gets the dog's attention so this stick has a flag on the end and um, it, it gets the dog's attention um, which sometimes is a good thing, but sometimes is also not a good thing. If a dog's working cows, you don't want to be flapping this thing around their head and they're looking up and getting kicked by the cow. So again, this is something that you may want to use a little bit early on to put pressure on the dog. Um, but at the same time, be careful when you use it at the same time. Uh, like any other of these training devices, use it when you need it, get rid of it when you don't need it anymore. Don't use it all the time because the dog will be dependent on it and the dog won't be taking the pressure off the livestock what it, is what it should be doing. So the, the biggest piece uh, uh, that can put pressure on the dog is, is, the, is the garden rake right here, right? This is, this is large. If you push at a dog with this, the dog's gonna get intimidated. Uh, if you hit the ground with this, you're definitely gonna get the dog's attention. And while this may be a good way to put pressure directly straight on a dog to teach him maybe to, to square off of it with square flanks, um, don't use this all the time. This is a lot of pressure to put on a dog. It's very effective. You use it in the right place in the right time, but you know, don't get too dependent on this thing. And then we've got the mother of all herding sticks right here. This is the this is the bamboo pole. As you can see, it's quite long. It's quite uh, luckily it's lightweight uh, they break easily so you know be careful with that you're gonna go through some of these um, they're nice because now you can put a pressure on the dog uh, from a little distance away so this is kind of a handy thing to have when you're working a larger field uh, obviously for a round pin uh, you know this might be a little bit of an overkill because they are a little bit awkward but um, and this is an exceptionally long one I would say one that's maybe six foot long, you know, two meters long or something like that is, is a very nice uh, bamboo pole to use in, even in a round pen. Uh, they're nice and lightweight, the easiest to, to use. Um, by the way, you know, these are not things that you poke at the dog. These are things that you put pressure on the dog with, either by holding it up so the dog, it's in the eye of the dog, you know, not up here where the dog doesn't see it, but down here, or you can tap the ground with it, uh, as you'll see in some of the other videos, while while the dog is flanking around with the stock. So this is the bamboo pole. Uh, be careful, sometimes there's sharp edges on the end, so you may want to put some duct tape on the end. So these are the uh, different sticks that are around. There's probably other variations of it. Sometimes you'll see a stick uh, with a bottle on the end with some rocks put in it again that's, that's a, a noise making type of a device you know uh, gets the dog's attention use it wisely use it carefully and when you're done with it you know you you want to get rid of it so use the appropriate tool at the appropriate time um, and these these tools will be very helpful and very very good for you